So in this problem, we're told to find two numbers whose difference is 88 and whose product is a minimum. So I'm going to represent our two numbers by the variables x and y. So in order to do that, what we first want to do in order to solve this, we know that the two numbers difference is 88. So that means x minus y is going to be equal to 88 because the difference just means when we subtract them, we're going to get 88. But we're also told whose product is a minimum. And so um, that means when we have x times y, the derivative of this is going to be equal to 0. Because a minimum, we know that the a minimum, its derivative of a minimum at a point is going to be uh, 0. So if we take the derivative with respect to x of x times y, we know it's going to be equal to 0. But the thing is we have y in this. So what we want to do is solve for y, then plug it in. So let's solve for y. So if we know that x minus y is going to be equal to 88, minus y is going to be equal to minus x plus 88. And if we multiply both sides by minus 1, we get y equals x minus 88. So now we solve for x. So we have x, um, x times x minus 88. And so the derivative with respect to x of this is going to be equal to 0. So let's just first expand this. So x times x is going to be x squared. And then x times minus 8 is going to be or minus 88 is going to be minus 88x. So the derivative with respect to x of this is going to equal 0. So let's find the derivative of this. The derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. Then the derivative of minus 88x is just going to be minus 88. So we know this is going to be equal to 0. And so if we want to solve for x, we can add 88 to both sides. So 2x is going to be equal to 88. Then we divide by 2. So x equals 44. So now we got uh, one of them, but we need y. So how do we find y? Well, all we got to do is just plug an x into this, and we can solve for y. So if we plug it in, so 44 minus y is equal to 88. So if I subtract 44 from both sides, we'll get minus y is equal to 44. Then if we multiply both sides by minus 1, it's just going to become y equals minus 44. So these are going to be our two numbers, and it says... We put the smaller number and then the larger number, so our smaller number is minus 44, and our larger number is going to be 44. And so these two numbers right here are going to be the answer to this question.